Excellency, while upstanding, permit me to invite the chairperson of uh, ESCC, Bishop David Oginde, to, be, to lead us in a word of prayer. Let's pray together. <clears throat> our Lord and our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for granting us this opportunity this morning as men and women you have chosen to lead this nation and to guide us. We want to thank you for our president uh, who is here with us as he leads us. We pray for guidance and for wisdom upon him together with the team that you have given him to work as they serve this nation. This morning we are gathered here for a very special ceremony. We pray, Lord, that you'll guide us through it. We want to thank you for your servant whom you have chosen at this time to play a very critical role in our nation. We pray for grace, for wisdom, for courage as he executes his duties. And Lord, we commit ourselves to you as we commit him to you uh, that he would submit his mind and all his faculties to you that he may serve you to the glory and honor of your name. And so we commit this ceremony into your hands. Be with us, be present with us as we pray together in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You may kindly take your seats. Your Excellency, the President, Your Excellency, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Your Leadership Chief Justice, members of the National Security Council present, our leaders, leadership in Parliament, Principal Secretaries present, the Director of Public Prosecutions, designate. Honored guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, this state ceremony is convened, Pass 1 to Article 74 and 157 of the Constitution, for the swearing in of the newly appointed Director of Public Prosecutions. The constitutional duty we honor by way of this swearing in is espoused in Article 74 of the Constitution, which states as follows. Before assuming a state office, acting in a state office, or performing any function in a state office, a person shall take and subscribe to the oath or affirmation of office. Your Excellency, following the recommendations of the selection panel on recruitment of the Director of Public Prosecutions, Your Excellency caused the nomination of Mr. Renson Mulele Ingonga OGW for appointment as the next DPP. Sir, in fidelity with applicable constitutional and statutory provisions, the nominee was considered and approved by the National Assembly. Consequently, and following the approval of the nominee by Parliament, Your Excellency effected the state appointments through Kenya Gazette Notice Number 12623 of 20th September 2023. Your Excellency, having discharged all the constitutional and statutory prerequisites are most pleased to confirm that this state ceremony is therefore properly convened. With Your Excellency's kind indulgence, permit me to administer the solemn affirmation of due execution of office to the DPP designate. Sir, I now invite Mr. Renson Mulele Ngonga to take and subscribe to his solemn affirmation of due to execution of office. I, Ransom Mulele Ngonga, do solemnly affirm that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, that I will at all times and to the best of my knowledge and ability protect, administer, and defend this constitution and exercise the constitutional functions entrusted to me with a view to upholding the dignity and the respect for the criminal justice system of Kenya having regard to the public interest and interest of the administration of justice without any fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, or other influence.
Your Excellency, <coughs> the transition in the office of the Director of Public Prosecutions is now complete. Mr. Renson Mulele Igonga becomes the third holder of this state office under the Constitution of Kenya 2010. Sir, as we draw this state ceremony to a close, permit me to invite her leadership, the Chief Justice, to welcome the DPP to the membership of National Council on Administration of Justice. Your Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, the Honorable Dr. William Ruto, Your Excellency, Mr. Musaria Mundavadi, uh, the Honorable Attorney General, the Cabinet Secretaries present here, the Principal Secretaries, uh, the Director of Public, prosecutions, members of the NCJ Executive Council, very, very distinguished guests this morning. A very good morning to you all. Uh, I join in congratulating uh, Mr. Renson Murere Igonga on your appointment and swearing into office as the third director of public prosecutions in our 2010 constitutional era. Mr. Igonga, you assume office of the Director of Public Prosecution, and for us this marks an important transition in the justice sector and in our nation. It is also notable that you are assuming office after a very transparent and meritocratic appointment process that you went through. And for us, this speaks volumes about your capabilities and the promises you bring to the justice sector. On behalf of the judiciary, together with the broad stakeholders in the justice sector, under the auspices of the National Council on the Administration of Justice, NCJ, that I chair, we stand ready to welcome you to the family of NCJ and to assure you that we will collaborate as partners and work with you to deliver on your mandate. We believe in a shared vision of a just, efficient, and effective justice system, and one that serves our citizens with the fairness and timeliness that they deserve. Your assumption in office will mark a new transition as you take on the role of the vice chairperson of the NCJ Council. Over the past two years, the NCJ uh, charted a path of deepened synergy between the various agencies in our justice sector. We believe none of us can deliver alone. We must pull together. It is a path that we believe will be further enriched and invigorated with your leadership. It will also be the means of me to conclude without expressing our profound gratitude to the president and the executive in general for your unwavering support to the justice sector, your support for the initiatives and programs that we are pursuing as the justice sector agencies has been instrumental in our collective journey towards a more efficient and effective justice sector. We thank you, Your Excellency, and we thank the entire executive for this support. In conclusion, uh, Bwana DPP, as you embark on the task ahead, we wish you success. May the Constitution and the laws that you have sworn to uphold in the oath of office guide you in all the decisions and actions that we, that you will take. I thank you for giving me this opportunity to congratulate our new PP. Your Excellency,
is now my humble duty and I privilege to invite Your Excellency to convey your congratulations to the nation's top camp prosecutor and thereafter with Your Excellency's most gracious consideration to grant him a photo opportunity to immortalize this momentous day. Welcome, Your Excellency. President, Prime Cabinet Secretary, Madam Chief Justice, and President of the Supreme Court, Mr. Speaker, Sir, and uh, distinguished leaders present here, uh, Bwana DPP. The oath you have taken today before God and man places an extraordinary burden of responsibility on your very able shoulders. It is a solemn commitment to serve with fidelity, to pursue justice without fear or favor, and to uphold the rule of law in every decision that you will be making. The Director of Public Prosecutions is not just a prosecutor. You are a defender of justice, a, pro a protector of the vulnerable and a voice for those who are too often voiceless. Your position is meant to ensure that prosecutions are initiated and conducted all in a manner consistent with the values and principles the Kenyan people hold very dear. The role of the DPP sits at the intersection of investigations and judicial processes. Thus, your success is dependent on the synergy you build with all other actors in the criminal justice system. And that is why I am most pleased to note that today we have the entire membership of the National Council of Administration of Justice, members that share in the burden of responsibility ensuring that justice is truly our shield and defender. And we have listened to the Chief Justice who is the chair and I am very confident that the criminal justice system will work with you to make sure that we deliver to the people of Kenya that which they expect. The presence <clears throat> of so many others, including uh, the speaker here, members of the executive here, the leadership of parliament, and other organs, is a clear testimony that you have the support and goodwill of every actor within our criminal justice system and other arms of government. You assume office at a unique time in our nation's history. The people of Kenya are resolute in the need to realize accountability for those entrusted with public office at all levels of government and within all our arms of government. Corruption is one of the challenges facing Kenya today. This is because corruption is a significant barrier to the realization of our shared aspirations as a nation because it breeds iniquity and leads us to lose huge amounts of public property and public resources. As a seasoned prosecutor, you are aware that in the past, some anti-craft actions were concocted to settle scores that had nothing to do with fighting corruption. Kenyans hope, and I hope, that under your tenure, the war on corruption will not be used to settle political scores, to target persons for their beliefs, or to pressure persons to abandon their rights and principles. We expect from the people of Kenya and from myself, and I speak to you candidly, openly, that that we expect nothing less. 
it is your duty as the head of the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution to ensure that non-partisan, uniform, consistent, and high-quality prosecutorial actions are always the benchmark of your office. Without fear or favor, without different standards for big fish versus small fish, without avoiding actions against the so-called sacred cows, you have been mandated by Kenyans to ensure that justice reigns on all equally. You have the support of the executive and the presence of all these leaders here, this testimony, and of every state organ, of both tires of government and all three arms of government, and of the millions of Kenyans who are looking up to you and your officers with hope and expectation. We will respect and uphold the independence of your office and provide you with the necessary assistance that we can as you pursue the sacred goal of making Kenya a more just and more safe nation for all of us. You will face criticism, Mr. Renzo Omulele. You will hear calls for greater accountability and transparency in your office decisions, decision making. This is, not, this is part and parcel of public service and state office. I trust that you will understand that in our vibrant democracy, Kenyans demand for and deserve to receive a higher standard of service from those they have entrusted with high office, starting with me and including you. As you begin your tenure, remember that you are not alone. You have a nation standing firmly behind you, supporting your every effort to ensure that the law is justly administered and that the rights of all are respected. May your tenure as the Director of Public Prosecution be marked by triumph of justice, and may you stand as an inspiring example of integrity and dedication to duty. My good uh, brother Omulele, uh, Ngonga, Renzo, I, I want you to know that we stand here today. I know you are members of your family here because the office you are holding from today is a very high office in the Republic of Kenya. And the expectations are equally high. And I want to encourage you that you will succeed because you have the support of all these people and you have the support of the people of Kenya. Kenyans are resolute and they are determined to make sure that we route out corruption in our country. As you have heard, I have said, Mambo ni Matatu. And you know one of them, it is up to you to discharge. So you have a duty to make sure that the property of the people of Kenya, the resources of the people of Kenya are not abused, they are not wasted, they are not uh, stolen, and through corruption, the people of Kenya don't lose. I am very clear in my mind as to where we want to go on this matter and we will defeat corruption. I am confident that we will defeat corruption because the people of Kenya have so decided. So you have a huge responsibility, but you will succeed because all Kenyans will support you. Um, the other arms of government are here. The other uh, organs of uh, criminal justice system are here. Uh, the Chief Justice can tell you that uh, we have kept our part of the bargain to make sure that we support the judiciary to the extent that we can. And we haven't asked them for any favorable judgment. We've asked them to discharge their responsibility in the way the law gives them the mandate. We will do ours, and everybody must do theirs. 
May the almighty God of all creation bless your every action and through you and all your colleagues that will be working with you, bless the nation of Kenya and all our people of Kenya. Congratulations again, uh, Renson. My very best wishes. And as I told you, I look forward to working with you to make sure that you succeed and Kenya succeeds. Asante sana. Your Excellency, sir, with your permission, we shall now proceed for the photo opportunity. We'll do that at VIP 2, so we'll allow you, Your Excellency, to retreat while the rest of us will be guided how to get there, and I'll give you...